the, the strip said, this is an old folk song that has come down through my family, which gave us an idea of how to write it. That line was going when the picture came out, but that's how we got to the feeling of Tammy, a folk song, simple. And, and we gave it to Debbie Reynolds. She could read music like nobody I ever saw. Picked it up and sang it just like the record. Okay. She was very talented lady. And they had no thought, you know, they said, this is never going to sell. They never expected it. Like Mona Lisa was a surprise. Uh, uh, Buttons and Bows was a surprise. All our big hits were surprises. Uh, K. Sera was a surprise. Jay just told the story. But this, instead of spending money on a recording session, they took the soundtrack for the movie and just pressed it onto a record to save the expense of recording. Figured it, to, you know, it, and it was too long. It ran around almost four minutes, and uh, it wasn't a record kind of arrangement, et cetera. But they figured, okay, so we'll just put it out. Maybe it'll get played. And of course, overnight, it became a giant, giant. I got hit. a call from Bob Thiel, head of the record company. Yeah, Coral so I got to put Universal owned that company, so I got to put this damn thing out. He said, "I need something for the other side." You got anything? Well, I used to carry music with me. This was in New York, and I almost didn't. It was a terrible snowstorm. I had to trudge over there. Mm -hmm. No taxis running. And I thought, "What the heck?" You know. So I gave him the song for the other side called French Heels. We wanted to call it High Heel. We couldn't use the title, and uh, we put it on the back of Tammy. So we got a double payment. Mm -hmm. You see, when you're on the back, you get paid the same, same as the hit. We've been on the back of some big hits.